from north karnataka a land older than the himalayas come fascinating stories of ordinary creatures surviving in extraordinary circumstances hidden and forgotten a visually stunning and eye opening series on the oldest geological formation of the indian subcontinent and its amazing unique but neglected wildlife and natural wealth this is copper this is the deccan The grasslands of the Deccan are a unique natural ecosystem rich in biodiversity. Home to one of India's most iconic avian species, the great Indian bustard. a symbol of the open plains and grasslands of the indian subcontinent once in the running to become india's national bird the great indian bustard is on the brink of extinction with over 90% of their populations lost and less than 100 individuals surviving in the wild today standing over 3 feet tall they are one of the heaviest flying birds feeding on insects lizards and small mammals like young hares a slow breeder and a ground nesting bird the great indian bustard lay only one egg each breeding season in the open which is a major threat to its survival in the wild as their eggs and chicks are often hunted by predators and feral dogs it has been over two decades since i last sighted a bustard in kopal district of northern karnataka last one i heard was shot by a hunter nanes in maharashtra rolapad in andhra and rane bennur in karnataka where sanctuary is created solely to protect this bird but today have no record of its presence the great indian bustard seems to have disappeared from the deccan so when i heard unconfirmed reports from locals of sightings of this bird I decided to investigate in the hope that this was true. Next day at dawn, I set out on a date with this elusive avian. As I drove across the Yeri Bhumi and Masari, halting at certain vantage points to scan the horizon, I noticed that crops of millets, grains and pulses had replaced once pristine grasslands along dry stream beds meandering across this flat terrain 
a jungle cat lazed on a rock and larks trilled but still no sign of the bustard today habitat loss and human disturbances apart from being hunted to almost extinction has made them critically endangered growing human presence and industrialization further adds to its disappearance windmills and power transmission lines crisscross the terrain and due to poor frontal vision great indian bustards are often victims of these man-made structures I drove around the whole day and it was 4 in the evening when I finally arrived at the spot it was last said to be sighted. With binoculars panning the grasslands, I looked hard but the bird eluded me. Suddenly, I noticed a movement in the cotton fields far away. Could it be the bustard in the distance? a few tense moments and then the bird slowly came into view standing tall and proud it was the great indian bustard finally after decades it was heartening to know they were still surviving here observing them for a while i left conscious not to disturb them but with renewed hope for their survival and revival the grassland ecosystems would never be the same without this flagship species we need to protect their land if not like the asiatic cheetah that is today extinct this charismatic bird will also disappear within our lifetime Serious conservation measures like captive breeding and awareness programs need to be conducted for primary school children and top policy decision makers. We at DCF are doing all that we can to revive the species here in North Karnataka by conducting awareness programs for our strategic partners and integrating local stakeholders as para ecologist we hope to bring the great indian bustard back from the brink of extinction <laughs>